What's up guys, Nick here with a brand new unboxing video, episode number 50! So what do I got for you for episode 50? I was hoping for it to be Watch Dogs. Uh, I actually neglected to record this. I didn't record this at all. I didn't unbox it at all. I bought it brand new, 20 bucks. Not in there, it's actually in the console behind me. You probably can't see it because it's too bright. But I neglected those just to get the Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs in there yet. So it's going to be two games instead of just one. And let's go ahead and get started. The first one is going to be South Park, The Stick of Truth. Now, I used to be a South Park fan before they started doing their, you know, eight episode, five episode seasons to where they do it. They write, create the episode in a single week. Before that, I was a complete fan of it. Now it's just they're going on current events, stuff like that, stuff that's real boring now, but I heard of this game, I watched the Let's Play of it, and it was actually pretty cool, you know, minus the final boss, it looked kind of stupid, but he skipped most of the, in the Let's Play, they skipped most of the battles, so you got to see like maybe five or six battles an episode or something, just 20 some episodes, so, alright, the front, you got all the main characters, you got Butters all the way, you got Kent, Princess Kenny, uh, Kyle, Cartman, Stan, and Butters. Yeah, Butters actually plays a pretty decent role in this one. And Cartman holding the stick of truth. It's just a regular stick. An epic quest to become Q. From the perilous battlefields of the fourth grade playground, a young hero will rise, destined to be South Park's savior. Join Kyle, Cartman, Kyle, Stan, and Kenny in a hysterical adventure to save South Park. And you can go to anywhere in South Park, minus them all. Which is awesome. Arm yourself to the teeth with an arsenal of magical weapons and armor. Written and voiced by Trey Parker and Matt Stone. Oh no shit. They're not going to release something like South Park and they had nothing to do with it. That's just ridiculous. Oh, I can put this actually on camera. This. I'll just do that. You get this as DLC. Guess what? I bought this brand new. This has been used. The DLC has already been used. That pissed me off. Alright, open it up. You got the disc, which is just the background of the of them and everything. No. That feels weird. Alright, that's the first one. Second one is one I was wanting to get. I bought a brand new. Obviously the box isn't, and that's one of their display boxes. Huh. Don't look like you have to uh, install this game. It says 11 megabytes minimum. But I'll probably end up doing it anyway. This one's going to be Dynasty Warriors Extreme Legends 8 or Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends Complete Edition. I don't know the difference between. I only did they have an Extreme Legends 8? I believe so. All right. The front of it is their premier character for the game, Lubu. Probably my favorite character, mainly because he's overpowered and he's a badass completely. Unless your inner warrior is in both, it's in two different languages, so, that, so bear with me. Five new characters join the roster. Yeah, just five. But one being Lubu's daughter. 82 playable characters in over 200 scenarios. Compete with others worldwide in the high scores challenge mode. Includes all content from Dynasty Warriors 8 and Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends, so apparently it is. Import data from the Dynasty Warriors. How do you import the data from? And share data from uh, with your PS3. How do you download, get the data from the other one? From the PS3? I don't know. One to two players, minimum 11 megabytes to download, which isn't a lot. Considering uh, Infamous is a minimum of 21 gig bytes. Yeah. That's the, that's the only other PS four game I have, I got rid of the other two. They got they really got more. Optional online play. Now this is what surprised me. It has a manual. It's not just one pages. How many pages is it? Twenty four. It's a twenty four page manual, of course. It's gonna be like short because it's multiple. You have story mode, free mode, ambition mode, challenge mode. It actually looks like a pretty decent game to tell you the truth. And then they have a game scenario with or, uh, Storm of Lubu. Shoot. 
I'll definitely be playing this one. Now, the reason why I didn't play the other one all the way through, I played like the first like couple parts of a, what, chapter one. The reason why I didn't go any further, I had a problem with it. If you had more than like ten enemies on the screen, that means the little enemies, the game would slow down. And I know they made a patch like a couple months after that, but then it was still messed up. Well, I got rid of it. So I got this, and obviously it's not going to do it there. Better not. I get pissed. But anyway, that was those two games. I want to get to playing them. You know, I'm in a little bit. I'm going to have to go out. So, anyway. so thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, considering it's a holiday this week, Mega Man will come back next week. Because tomorrow's Good Friday. I might have stuff planned. Today I'm off, but I have stuff to do, so expect Mega Man to come back next week. I know I didn't have but one episode last week, none this week, but expect them to come back next week, and we'll continue on with that. Oh, and make sure Monday, even though, well, Monday's after the holiday, Monday will be my finale in Pokemon Silver, so stay tuned.